Hey guys, welcome to another episode of Metal Warrior Music Reviews. Today we'll be talking about Behemoth's album Opus Contra uh, Natravis, I think that's how it's pronounced. I'm pretty sure you pronounce it. Um, so yeah, let's get right into the al album review. The first song is called Post God Nirvana. Um, to me, this one was just okay. No real, this isn't really a song though. It's kind of more like an intro song to me. So, and this one kind of leads into M Malaria Vulgata. I really like this one. Well, not really like this one. I liked this one, not really liked. Um, I liked this one. I thought it was pretty cool. The drum work on this song is crazy though. Um, their drummer is insane. He's really fast with the blast beats and stuff. Um, but the only downside to the song is that it felt a little repetitive. Um, next one is called The Deathless Sun. Badass name. Um, this is one of the singles. I really, really liked this one. I thought this was a really good one. I love the chorus on this one. The guitar work in the song is really good too. There's like a little tapping bit after the chorus, which is really cool. Like post-chorus, it's really cool. The little tapping bit. I love it. Um... Next one is called Of My Herculean Exile. Exile. Um, this one was pretty cool. I didn't like it as much as The Deathless Sun. Still a pretty cool song, just felt a little bland to me. It was a little bit of a slower song. So yeah, it just felt a little bland to me. Still a cool song. Um, next one is called Neo Spartacus. This one is pretty cool also. The drumming on this song though is really good. Um, and we get a pretty awesome guitar solo in this one too, so that's always cool when you get a guitar solo in the, in songs. It's pretty cool. It's always a plus for me. Um, next one is called Disinheritance. I thought this one was pretty cool. Some parts felt a little repetitive, but there are some cool riffs in this one. You get also another nice guitar solo in this one, so that's always, like I said, that's always nice. Um, next one is another single called Off to War. Um, this one is awesome, like, um, I'm, I don't think many people like this one, I could be wrong, but from what I've heard, many people not really liking this one, although I really like this one. Um, awesome drumming in this one, there's some really awesome guitar riffs in this one. I just really thought this was a strong track. Next one is called a Once Upon a Pale Horse, I really like this one. This one could be my favorite, honestly, on the album. Um, this one has some nice groove to it. I really, really like the guitar riffs on this one, too. Um, next one is called Thy Becoming Eternal. This one is really awesome. I love the guitar riffs in this song. Um, overall, another really good song. Um, not my favorite on the album, but it was really good. Then the last one is called Versus Christus. I think that's how you pronounce it. Verse, versus Christus. I think. I don't know. Um, my apologies for butchering it. Um, I love this song. This song is actually really good. This one is the longest one, clocking in at just over six minutes, I believe. Um, awesome riffs in this song. And really cool piano, too, which really surprised me. But this one has more of an epic feel. Probably because it's, it's the longer song. Um, but I, that may have to do something with it. But I don't know. I like the song regardless. Now, time for my final impressions with the album. I like this album. Um, not my favorite album from the year. This will not be ending up on my top 10. Not my favorite Behemoth album either. I thought they had definitely had better better albums than this one. Other, overall, it was still a pretty good album. Um, I'm giving this album an 8 out of 10. I didn't really like the production on this album. That's kind of my only kind of nitpick with it. So, yeah. Uh, nothing... Else really much to talk about with this one. Peace out. See you guys later.